here is that if I have football, these are the bowl games. These are for the games on Tuesday, December 22nd. There's two of them. The first one is the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, which is the Nevada uh, Wolf Pack against the Tulane Green Wave. Nevada, they're 6-2. and two. Carson Chong, strong pass for 2,587 yards, 22 touchdowns, only 4 interceptions. Toa Tower ran for 573 and 3 touchdowns. Romeo Dubes, 960 receiving yards and 9 touchdowns. They're the number 10 passing offense in the country. Number 31 in total offense, 34th in scoring defense, are pretty, so they're pretty good uh, on both sides of the ball. Retulane, they went 6-5. and five. They had a freshman quarterback come in, play admirably. Michael Pratt, 1,638 passing, 18 touchdowns to 5 interceptions, plus 7 rushing touchdowns. Stephen Hudderson ran for 721 and 4 touchdowns. Cam and Carroll ran for 621 11 touchdowns. They normally have a really good running game. Defensive end Patrick Johnson won a one of the top sackers in the nation. He's got 10 sacks on the season. They're the number 22 scoring offense in the country and the number 54 scoring defense. So these kind of um, two different offenses. Nevada has a bit of an air raid aff offense. They're good at passing. Tulane, they don't have a triple option offense, but they do uh, run the ball quite a bit more as evidenced um, by their, uh, their 18th in rushing offense in the country. Again, I expect this to be a pretty, um, a pretty good game. I just, this one's got two lane by by three. It'll be close. I'm gonna actually side with Nevada uh, a little bit in this one. I'm not really sure why, but I think it'll be a fun game to watch. Then later on on Tuesday, it'll be the Boca Raton Bowl. This should be a pretty fun game. The UCF Golden Knights and the BYU Cougars. Uh, UCF with 63. Dylan Gabriel's two of the top quarterbacks in the country this season. Uh, Dylan Gabriel for UCF and Zach Wilson for BYU. Dylan Gabriel has passed for 3,353 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. Zach Wilson has passed for 3,267 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. Uh, for UCF, uh, they got two really good running backs, Greg McRae and Otis Anderson, each over 600-plus rushing yards. Marlon Williams went off this season. He actually only played in 7 of their 9 games and, and still had... 1,039 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns. And they had Jalen Robinson with 935 receiving and 5 touchdowns. Assuming these all play, J Rob should get 2,000 yards. Um, you said have, they have the number two passing offense in the country, the number six scoring offense in the country, the number two total offense in the country. They lost their games because their defense is terrible. They have a really weird defense, though. They're 80th in scoring defense and 117th in total defense, but they're actually number two in the nation in. Force turnovers and turnover margins. So basically, if they don't force turnovers, they're giving up touchdowns. Whereas BYU, they have a good, along with their quarterback, Tyler Algier, 957 rushing and 12 touchdowns. Dax Milne, 1,118 receiving and 8 touchdowns. They have the number 8 scoring offense in the country, but they have a much better defense. They're actually tied for second in scoring defense nationally. Uh, uh, yeah, scoring defense nationally. I think this will be a pretty close game. Unfortunately, I'm going to root for UCF because it's a Florida team. But I think BYU wins only because UCF can't stop anybody. And then maybe it will stop UCF just a little bit. But this will be a really, really exciting game to, to watch. And it should be, I'm, I'm going to expect it to be pretty high scoring. Um, whatever the over-under is, go over. So those are my picks for the Tuesday Bowl game. Check out my other one. Peace.